Chairman Pat O'Brien from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, is here with us, and we're in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Great, yeah, great morning. What is the matter? Yo, yo. Isn't, this a, isn't this a pretty town? You went to Hagel's yesterday, right? Right. And bought a saddle. I bought a roping saddle. Yeah. Uh, now, why did you buy? Why, why didn't you have it shipped? Why did you? Why did you have to have it in your hotel room? So he could sit on it in his <laughs> hotel room. Because I didn't want to go. You know, it's, it's a, the, the saddle costs eleven $1 hundred dollars. Right. So it was, he, so it was the list price was fifteen hundred, and I said to the guy at Hagel's. You know, I said, this this can't be the price. Right. Jewed him down a little bit, did he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We could have probably put that in. Of course, out here, fine. Yes, we jewed him down. <laughs> Might have done said something. Or christened him down, as you are for fond of saying. I they I missed him down. Now, listen, um, what, do you have a horse in New York? You don't have a horse in New York. What do you, have a, what do you need a saddle for in New York? I'm going to ship it out to the ranch. <laughs> okay. Uh, tang head. That's just such an old, pathetic, torn I know, it is. But, but well, I mean, I, it's, I'm curious as to just... You know, what you think about when whoever does what they do to your hair, I mean, right. what sort of discussion goes into the decision to make it that color? Right. <laughs> At least I don't look like Johnny Rivers, okay? <laughs> or dress like him. Yeah, but see, I, I mean, I'm, but I'm not, I, I don't have any sort of image that I'm trying to project. What's wrong with my hair? You guys think anything's wrong with my hair? It's kind of nice looking, isn't it? Now, look at this woman here. She just looked away right, embarrassed, well, didn't you, ma'am? Right there. Absolutely. She averted, she averted ah, her eyes. Nice hair, isn't she it? averted her eyes and thought, oh my God, he's going to look at me. Yeah. I make fun of, I, I made fun of my own hair in my book, Talking Sports, a BSer's Guide, on sale right now. I'll be done. What page would that be on to be making fun of your hair? Uh, it's, in the, it's, it's in one of the chapters where I actually make fun of my own hair. Okay? Who wrote this, by the way, for you? I wrote it, each and every word. Oh, you did? Yeah. I don't know what's in it, but I did write it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And it's a, a funny. It's listed under sports humor. Right. And it's a funny book. It's called Talking Sports, a BSer's Guide. Do you happen to have a, co a copy with you? No, I, I didn't bring no. one with me. Anybody here in the room have a copy? Knowing Pat was going to be here, a woman there. Come up here. I'll be done. Larry, let her sit down there where you, you are. You got it. There is a copy. Come on up, ma'am. Extant. You Today. want me to sign that for you? Well, okay. Like Monica Lewinsky's mom. Yeah, right. Ten bucks. <laughs> there you go. No, 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 ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. No, no, ma'am, ma'am. Come up here. What's your name? No, no, don't try to get away. What's your name? Oh, come on up here and sit down. Jackie? Jackie, is it? Here's ten bucks, Doc. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Farber, here's the first ten dollars right here. Wait, wait a minute. Jackie, how are you? I'm fine, thank Is it Jackie? It is. Why do you have a copy of this? Because I knew Pat was going to be here. Oh, you did? And are you from Sioux Falls? No. Well, you're not. Where are you from? Canton. Ohio. Oh, I love Canton. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I don't know. Learn the region. Canton is right there. I don't have highway. to learn anything. You uh, do what we say when you're a in homo area, face. Okay? What? Homo, homo face. face. I don't have to learn anything. Jesus. <laughs> homo face. <laughs> yeah. Jackie, where is uh, okay. Canton? Is... About 20 miles south of Sioux Falls. Oh, okay. What do you do here? Well, I'm in sales. Oh, yeah. What do you sell? Medical supplies? You don't sell Jackie, do you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why couldn't I ask her that? Well, that's just, it's, it's, it's gratuitous. You don't Medical know. supplies? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Wait a Can minute. I plug my company? Absolutely. Physician sales and service. Okay, would you give us a bunch of stuff for uh, uh, to take back on the plane with us? <laughs> uh, it's not therapy. pharmaceuticals. <laughs> and, and a I wheelchair for Don. <laughs> Boy, back if it had been, if you were passing out prescription drugs back in the old days, Pat would have married you. <laughs> Just for the Perkadance script, right? You would have been right behind me there. Pat. All right, Jackie. Yes. Now, 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 I want you, this is, this is going to be a real insight into Pat O'Brien. I want you to read what he wrote in your book. To Jackie, thanks for being with us on the I Miss in the Morning Show. Pat O'Brien, May 1st, 1998. See, now he's part of the experience of being well, here, so uh, she remembers that. Mm -hmm. Now, go ahead, Don. <laughs> Make fun are of you, that now. That's very nice. That's very sweet. Are you, are you married, Jackie? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah, okay. So Pat hasn't hit on you. <laughs> <laughs> and it's working for me, too. Here's what I said about my hair on page 27. This will be great. Many announcers have toupees. Many don't and should. Yeah. Some have done plugs with disastrous results. Right. You know who that is. Some that would have, be Dick Stockton, wouldn't it? Well, I, okay. I said you know who that is. Yes, but I mean... <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not, you know. Okay. Some have 70s hair. Right. Some don't have hair. And many, including me, have through the years tried various colors. Right. So I admit that in my book. That's great. Now, if you'd... Uh... <laughs> That's great. Okay. I just don't think if you want people isn't to buy this, that I would fun? read from it, isn't frankly. It is <laughs> what? It is 10 minutes till the hour here on the hour's morning program. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, good morning, Warner. Good morning. Thank you, our man. Fight night at the Garden. The Knicks beat Miami 90-85 to tie the series at 2-2, but a fight broke out with just a second and a half left in the game between the Knicks' Larry Johnson and Alonzo Morning of Miami. Here's WFAN's Gus Johnson. And a foul! Larry Johnson and Morning are swinging <laughs> on the baseline, and Morning right now is being held by Jeff Van Gundy. Van Gundy holding on to his foot, and this is amazing! And could this be deja vu? Is that over? <laughs> God, you just can't. You couldn't. You couldn't. You couldn't script two dumber people. <laughs> oh, my. Go ahead, Morning. Morning and Johnson will automatically be suspended for the fifth game for throwing punches, not necessarily landing the punches. And further review also shows that Nick's Chris Mills in his sweatsuit came off the bench, which what? means that's right. That's right. Our producer Craig spotted it. He came off the bench. He's at the top of the screen. He could be suspended. Outrageous. Af <laughs> After the game, Knicks coach Jeff Van Gundy, who grabbed the foot of the six foot ten morning. I'm not an idiot. You know, I wasn't attacking nobody. I was trying to get between, you know, the two guys so there weren't any punches thrown. And then, you know, I ended up grabbing his leg, trying to pull him off. I wasn't trying to attack anybody. By Most the way, it was an idiotic move on the grant, an idiotic grandstanding move on the part of the of the, of the bald-headed little shrimp coach who simply should have stayed out of it because both players were swinging at each other like they were, oh, I don't know, Pat and Giselle on the set of Access Hollywood. <laughs> That's right. Warner continues. Meanwhile, here's heat coach Pat Riley. I don't know what happened. I didn't see it. So uh, what caused it, I don't know. He well, didn't what, see it. What was he doing? Come on. He's the coach. Was he Where? there? Where was he? In Sioux Falls, South Dakota? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. This just in. Uh -oh. Johnson and Morning have been invited to recreate their fight on the Jerry Springer Show. <laughs> <laughs> the Lakers eliminated Portland. The Pacers eliminated Cleveland. The Sonics tied the series against the Wolves. Oh, here's the quote of the week. As you know, in a sign of unity, all the Charlotte Hornet players shaved their heads for the playoffs against the Hawks, including Hornet guard Del Curry, who said after he shaved his head, his three-year-old daughter ran away in fear. <laughs> said a Chicago newspaper man, maybe the daughter was just imitating the way her father plays defense. <laughs> and finally, what about this Kentucky Derby? What about it? Forget the favorites. The favorite never wins the Kentucky Derby. No. Forget Hallery Hunter at three and a half to one. Forget him. Cape Town, six to one. Get Forget him. him. Indian Charlie, two to one. Forget it. Absolutely. You won't even know who the winning horse <laughs> is because real quiet will win the Kentucky Derby. Number two. Real quiet. <laughs> well, it is here right now. And it is. <laughs> and finally. And mercifully, stop, Warner. <laughs> Does Pat know? I'm sure he knows. I wonder if it's in his book. Okay. Who is the man made his name in baseball, but was one of the greatest high school football players ever to play in South Dakota? Who was that, Pat? Um... Jesus, God well, Almighty. I don't know. Roger Maris. Roger Maris, no. you Ro moron. Roger, how could you not that's know right. this? I believe that's North Dakota. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. What are you, idiot? No, wait a no. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to make You're sure kidding. that Pat didn't have that in his book wrong. Was it North Dakota, Warner? You know, upon further review... <laughs> are you? <laughs> Rock and Bell, y'all.